You're whistling again. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do as a favour for you there. Wipe the sides down there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Honey's humming. Can you hear me, honey? Yeah, I know. Ah, yeah. sorry. Do the favour, stick the cable over here. These guys are moaning about it. Okay, well, he's wiping the sides down. He's making a cup of tea. Let's talk about cloning. My name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 17 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. Okay, welcome to another video. We're indoors this time because the situation is what it is. It's a really nice day outside, but I'm not going outside because I am uh, following government guidance and staying indoors. The problem with that is, is trying to find something creative to do with my time in terms of photography. I need to find something creative. And I've seen a lot of pictures going up on Facebook of people doing like cloning pictures. So I've just done a cloning picture for you. I've also done a little cloning video. Uh, hopefully it worked. I won't know until I edit it in a little while. That's a little bit more tricky, so I'm gonna show you how I edit that in my video software, but I'm gonna also show you how I edit the picture really easily in Photoshop. It's really easy, there's a, there's a ton of different methods you can use, uh, but just by masking really simply around objects. If you haven't overlapped your subject, like me, if I haven't overlapped, like I had to retake a picture I did of me on the floor, because my head would have overlapped my feet over here somewhere. I retook it to make sure that I didn't overlap. Just makes things a ton easier in Photoshop, but it's not too difficult to, if you do overlap to mask around neatly. It's just I want to do this really quickly to show you how to do it really easily uh, yourself at home. So grab your camera. You could do this on a phone. If you have something like Photoshop, uh, Affinity, anything like that that does any kind of masking, this will work in any kind of bit of software. Even some phone editing softwares can mask quite neatly around, around objects. And if you're not too worried about objects overlapping, makes it really, really easy. So first of all, I wanna show you how I edit the video that you saw at the beginning of this clip. In terms of, of uh, pre-thinking that, you have to think about what you're gonna do in the other bits of clips as well, because obviously I do that three different videos. You need to be in a kind of area where the lighting's not gonna change, so that when you mask in video, you haven't got different lighting scenarios going on in different parts of your video. Uh, you have to try, if you can, not to overlap your subjects because that makes for masking really difficult and I'm not going to go into those lengths. It's possible. Uh, it's not completely out, outside the realms of what I've done before. In some of my videos, I mask myself quite intricately uh, through videos with text going behind me, that kind of stuff. So it is possible, but for, the, for this video, keep things really simple. When you're working with clones in video, just pre-think what you're going to say and, and the, the, the the time distance between what you talk and how you your reaction to the other person. You'll see what I mean when I put the video together in a second. Uh, so let's do that. We'll get into the video side of it and then I'll show you how to easily Photoshop the uh, the pictures of, I did, I did seven or eight pictures of me around my living room you see behind me. Uh, I put my camera in front of my TV so it looks like I'm watching TV and I had different mugs so it looks like it's me drinking tea all over the place with different mugs at the same time. Does that make sense? Uh, just add something little intricate like that into your picture, just adds a little bit more of a dim dimension, a bit more of a story line, which is what we're trying to do, right? So let's get into this. Uh, so stick around, watch the editing side of things, and if you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed before, please do so. Hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a video. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, enjoy this. Any questions, let me know. Let's do this. I hope to see quite a few pictures coming out soon of clones. Let's do this. See you in a bit, bye. <laughs> 